Podcast. Yo, yo, what's up? At the hottest podcast in the city, the smartest dumb people. I'm here with my nigga, that dude Johnson. You know what I'm saying? We go way back like four flats on the Cadillac. Y'all tune in every week or every time. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Do what you're supposed to do. Like, comment, share. Tell your people about it. Y'all know what it is. It's the smartest dumb people. See, man, when you get that type of money, he literally sent more than other people. So, like, this is the story. This is the best podcast in the city. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not pandering. You know what I'm saying? And they take vocals, you know, spiritually. That's how I'm living. You're real up, bro. That's pretty neat. I'm into it. But, uh, I also, uh, met the team. She, they know she likes to go outside and play soccer by herself. Yeah. Make sure I want to tell you like Snoop Dogg, he's an icon in all festival life. Yeah. Most big icon in the world. Yeah. But I feel like they be stupid. They gonna get caught. Yeah, they cheat with their dick. Like we cheat with our mind. I feel yeah. like no more. But before I let you explain that, I want to show a little clip, of, a little monster. I'm on Pandora, YouTube. Everybody, call out. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the smartest dumb people, and I'm the host, Anthony That Dude Johnson. And always, always, always there's gonna be people at this table. We got JoJo in the building, Cali Cal, LB the Great Universal League. Look, before we start, could you fellas do me a favor? Hit those lights. See, I was overstimulated. Yeah, yeah, I got you. No, no, a lot of mistakes happened. A lot of mistakes happened. So, they was talking so much. I'm just going to call a spade a spade. And me and Leland got in full-blown arguments about this before. <laughs> they was talking so much as I'm getting ready to start the show. I I, I got ten things to do while they was just I, I, talking. They were, they were just talking. <laughs> See? Are you making fun of me? No accountability. Right. Look, this is the smartest dumb people, man. Let's let's get straight to it. But before we get straight to it, we gotta give a shout out to Glitter Bomb, shout out to C Boss. Let's check out the commercials. We'll be right back with y'all. We gotta pay the sponsor, man. We have Shout out to Glitter Bombs. We appreciate the sponsorship. Uh, it's time to start the show. How you fellas week been? Beautiful, man. Mine has been cool. How about you, JoJo? My week's been great. Yeah, looking forward to it. You say somebody at the work, at the gig. Yeah, what you do? Yeah. You resuscitated him? Oh, man. It's it's they were falling down. Hey, your manager in here, make sure you keep oh, you cool. Tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, I had to go get the Narcan. I was running through the oh, bills okay. like Forrest Gump. You stabbed him with it? With the injection? <laughs> yeah, so the dude, so I'm billing, like, through the bill, like, he always goes. <laughs> 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 That's not funny. It's really that funny. You know what I'm saying? How do you explain it? So, you know what I'm saying? When I got there, they, I was like, and so he looked, my guy, he was like, I said, I don't know how. He was like, and then he didn't even just know that. Okay. He came back to life? He was just like. Speaking of uh, uh, health, my mom is finally home. Shout out to everybody that prayed, man. She's home. 
she's doing well. We're going we're gonna to have a cookout at her house this weekend. Y'all more than welcome to come yes. uh, and play some cards, play some spades, and talk some shit to my mama. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. My mama is the best shit talker on the planet. She loves talking shit. So let's get to the show, man. All right. So this week, a lot of shit's been happening. Uh, first thing that happened was John Morant was caught again with another pistol on camera. Let me pull up that John Morant. Uh, see, no John Morant. Overstimulated. Y'all don't be believing me, and it's a real thing. Oh, it's a real thing. <laughs> what the fuck is you doing? Know, you want to pause it? Yeah, he was with the homie supposedly, the homie caught him by accident. This is a bullshit clip. Listening to some new songs. It's a bullshit clip, but it'll do. We'll be right back with y'all. Let's see what John Moran did. He got caught on camera. All right, so that's the actual clip. LB, hit your phone. That's the actual clip, man. And and basically, John Morant, uh, he just had an incident not even 60 days ago where he he was he pulled a pistol out in the strip club and was flashing it on Instagram Live. He got suspended by the NBA mid mid playoff series, and he got in trouble for it. I guess the 17 year old was at his house hooping him up, and they said he roughed him up or something. He, he, he slept the 17 year old boy, uh, and I'm, I'm telling you. So the topic we're having today is deeper than just John Morant. And we're going to play clip after clip after clip until we can get to the root of the problem. Me and Travis Mountain, he reached out to me. Travis Mountain was on my neck about this John Morant situation. He said to me, this is his exact words, he said, why is it when, when a black man has a gun, uh, it's a problem and he's a thug and it's scary? We're going to break down all this toxic masculinity and shit. So I want to get straight to the next video that's tailored to everything that I want to speak on today, and we're going to have the dialogue. So basically, Soldier Boy and uh, NBA Young Boy, they are now in uh, discussion slash argument, whatever you want to call it, because they dropped the albums released the same day. It's not only them, it's, it's Lil Dirk too involved, but this is what Soldier Boy uh, had to say. Thank you. Go take a go take a bath, spanking that little n mush that little n shit mouth that little n dent face that little n before we put another dent in your head, bitch yeah boy. You talking about you can't wait to meet who n you don't wanna meet me, n you don't know me for I ain't never one of these rappers, I ain't never one of these n you know you Well you don't you do not wanna meet me fuck you talking about n You don't wanna meet me You don't wanna meet me Put another dent in your head. What you talking about, boy? Okay. Better find somebody to play with. Alright, so that's the actual clip, man. And like I said, they're all tied into me because I've seen a lot. Like our like our culture lost this week. We were losing. And we continue to lose because nobody is stepping in and saying, hey man, this ain't right. Remember you used to say that shit? Hey man, this ain't right. You probably remember, but in an apartment you used to say shit like that. Like, yeah. there's nobody out there like, hey man, this, this ain't, ain't right. right. And I, it's our job to say, what the fuck are we? We're, we're, all right, so we're watching in society right now, millionaires act ignorant. Millionaires. Soldier Boy telling uh, NBA Young Boy, you a pussy boy. This, why? Because he put now, an album out the same now, day. Now, 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 we got to watch that one. So, but now we got to dissect this one. You know what I'm saying? So, start with John. Start with John. Mm -hmm. Now, with John Moran. Now, I guess there's only one way that you can actually play. Now, if <clears throat> the rules is that you cannot flash guns. That's just like, you can have a carry to conceal, but if you work at Target and they say guns is prohibited, that means that you cannot bring a gun in here. And so, 
if it's in the rules that you cannot do that, that just simply is the rule. But, Barry, so can I say, I'll speak on what Travis Mountain said to me this morning, because he said I've been on John Morant's neck, and he said, bro, fam, he's just, he's, he said he's 25 with a lot of money, he's just, he's like, but why is when a black man has a gun, I said, first off, it's not <clears> that he just had a gun. If he was at a hunting range or a gun range, hey. it, it, it would have been completely different. He's, That's what people love to say. Well, well a white dude got guns and he, they don't get it. He no said clothes. Trevor Lawrence. A white dude got a bucket in the back. He said yeah. Trevor Lawrence. He showed. He, he sent me a picture on my phone of Trevor Lawrence and I was supposed to post it so I can show the difference. Uh, but Trevor Lawrence had a gun and it was like a pistol that didn't even look real like this. And he had like a regular shirt on. He didn't have, he didn't, he wasn't fitting the criteria of toxicity mm -hmm. and, and, and gang violence and all of these things. And I had that conversation with him. I said, you got a point, bro. But he, you got to also put this in context. Listen to the music he was listening to. Listen to the rapper he was listening to. Oh, that's NBA Young Boy. That's what I'm saying. About. And all he talks about is violence and toxic masculinity. I can go in on NBA Young Boy because I've always thought that dude was screaming out like a girl, man. I know he wasn't raised by no male. Yeah. You know, and that's yeah. why I, I was about to say, you know, John Moran, I guess his daddy be around at the games, but was his daddy around? Yeah, his daddy was you around. Know what I mean? His daddy I, was really around. Yeah, well, why ain't he checked him yet? He just got in trouble. <laughs> I think his daddy, ago. his daddy understands, his, not understand, because I think his daddy is a fucking fool, if you ask me. His daddy is letting his son do whatever he want to do, but I will say this. Leland that's has always said, you know, I'm going to say this. Listen. He ain't got no control over you, you really don't. But you like, Mike Tyson, they that's your Mike son. Tyson was the world, going across the world to Japan, fighting Ed Brown, come on, man. Make sure you like and share. Make sure you like and share. That's, uh, that's the prime of your life. Uh, but, but why is it in our culture that, like, when you get money, because this is what I hate, and this is what I was trying to explain to Travis. We got young thugs sitting behind bars for RICO <laughs> cases on basically murder charges and, and hit, hit and for hires. And, yeah. So, but and where I'm from, when the goal was to get out the hood, right? right. And, and now it's it's the opposite and it's reversing. Mm -hmm. Now these dudes that's getting out the hood, they're trying to prove to the people in the hood how hood they are. And all I'm saying is, that's why when we own this show, I said on this, I've cried on this panel. I said on this uh, show, I said, bro, I don't want to live like, I, I was never, I was in the streets, but I wasn't a street dude. I was in the streets because I was a product mm -hmm. of my environment. I was, I, I had to sell drugs because that's what all my friends was doing. But once I was like, oh shit, they going to jail, they going to jail. He got killed, he got killed. He in jail for murder. He, and I was like, this ain't the life I want for myself. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm just about to say, so uh, also, your boy, um, um, Young Jock, I'm so mad. I, I'm, again, oh, overstimulated. I was supposed to post that video of Young Jock. It's on our page. Y'all go to our page or on my personal page. Young Jock is, is crying. Did you see the video of Young Jock crying? I seen him And he down. was just breaking down, crying, and black and white. And like I said, he does a lot of clown shit for attention. Yes. But for the first time, I I understood the message behind what he was Anybody saying. Because I'm, I'm there too. Doing anything I'm there too. Attention. All right, we, we're doing we on the video right message. now. Yeah, so are you trying to put out a message? Yes. Okay, so anybody you see on video is doing either something for attention or some type of motive. And so what, I don't know whether it was a good or bad place that he's coming from, but if he was really in that space, he should have done it in private. Because since he did it on video, which I didn't see it, but I'd be more than happy to watch it. If, if you have any sort of heart and you really understand the climate and the way the world is changing, you, because like, let me be honest with y'all. I'm not going to cry like Young John, but I am hurting this time because okay. I'm, I'm seeing so much pain in the black community from every way, from every angle. And it's just like, at what point in time are we going to stop and say, this ain't right, man, like Lila said? Mm -hmm. well, can, let, me, let me say one thing, and it's the old adage. Money ain't change you. Money only change the way people think about you. Right. And so, when you have, so you have people, and again, sometimes you have people that are street, that have money, and you have people that have money that act street. And so, yeah. why ain't nobody stepping in for job? Money only changes people that don't have money. Because it's up into a certain extent. And so, 
But he has the world. All right, so John Moran has well, the world at his fingertips. And he's yeah. uh, he's young, black, and right. handsome, so and like rich. He's, oh, he's, the, right. he's the leader of this oh. ship, though. Who's around? Who's the OG around him? Does right. he got any OGs? Right. So Are they all just his dad right. is sitting on the sideline taking he's, shots with each other? That's what I'm saying. So John is probably the OG of his homies. Who's going to check him? Yeah, he's now, obviously movie. he ain't getting checked because he, he just did it again, movie. right? Mm -hmm. And he did it again. Right. This is the third of now, now, he's trouble. Now, how, now, how y'all don't know that he's trying to force his way out of something? Right, it, right, either right, it, right. It, so, trying to force something out of the contract. There's a bunch of angles to this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's, really, he's, it's not that serious. He has a two hundred fifty million, uh, $220 million dollar contract. It's not that serious. Man, what I see, man. You'll force yourself out of that. Yes, you do. But hey, you don't know? I you see Antonio know. Brown do it. You see a bunch of people do it. I make an hourly wage, and I ain't trying to force my way out of the job. Because people, people yeah. have yeah. the talent he had, oh. I would have been job. Is this behavior Same. worse than Dennis Robbins? No. We don't, we don't I'm know. not gonna, I don't know. know. Based on what we've seen, no. no. Dennis Robbins From what we see, he's still doing it. So, is this, is what he's doing? Right. Worse than Dennis Rodman. Is it really about the Um It may be. Time it, out. When you say, because let's put it in perspective. From from a humanized standpoint, no. But like I was telling Travis Mountain, I was telling him like, there's kids that watch Ja. And then, and then this is Travis' actual words. He said, man, have your own fucking kids. They don't need role models. I said, you're right, Travis. Now let me break down the scenario. Yeah. But yeah, I said, let me break down the scenario. I said, Travis, now imagine this. I know I raised my son right. right. My son just... Recently, uh, about three or four weeks ago, got in a fight at a club with his uh, with his homeboys' uh, friends or whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, now these kids, I know Nayan is not. He got a gun. I know he's not on Instagram doing all of this shit like John Morant. Now imagine this: that kid that he is watching John Morant and listening to young NBA, NBA young boy, he might kill my son. I said, now it's out of my hands, so I can control what, hap what happens with my child, but I can't control his environment. Control that though. You can't, but you can't even control the environment around right, him. Right. So I'm saying, like, it don't matter how good of a kid you raise. If exactly. they run into the wrong gang member that, that's looking at him wrong, which my son, occasionally, he keeps having these uh, situations happen to where, like, he looks like a gang member because he dresses like our culture. Mm -hmm. But he's, a, he's, as, he's as kind and as helpful as possible in society. He doesn't want no smoke with nobody. But he's like, Dad, mm -hmm. I was at the concert. And I got stared at this dude who's looking like he wants to fight me. And I'm like, but don't get caught up in that Man, shit. that's emotional. What I'm seeing with these young men is that's nothing but emotional ass dudes. And if you're a man and you're emotional, that's the, that's one of the worst things you can be. Right. And I think that's a lot of these men are raised by women. And they're learning how to be emotional because they see that from three, four, five years old. That's all they yeah. see is their mama, their grandma, a lot of them in the grandma aunties, whoever, women around, acting all emotional, they think they can be like that. Man, but this thing is, when, when the man gets emotional, we got the strength to actually do something. Hurt this somebody. is a, such a great segue for this clip, Cal. Please. Yeah, well, exactly. No, because this, is, this is tied into what Cal said. I gotta, right. I gotta let Cal land this, and then we can continue the conversation. Right. I, uh, Dr. Ayana, or whatever her name was, was talking to a black woman and was telling her that the black women, is not all black women, but she's like the black women have the power to break down black men, and your words hurt them. And let's watch the clip. We'll be right back with y'all. Turn, turn away your phone. Yeah, here. Come on, we don't want you to. This is why, in our culture as black people, when the boys turn a certain age, the men come and get him and take him away from the mother because she can emotionally manipulate him. But since we don't live in our culture no more, we say what we want to say, do what we want to say. We tear our men down and then wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers. Mothers destroy sons. His mother can speak to him in certain ways that destroy him in ways that can never be repaired. This is why in our culture as black people, when the boys turn a certain age, the men come and get him and take him away from the mother because she can emotionally manipulate him. But since we don't live in our culture no more, we say what we want to say, do what we want to say. We tear our men down and then wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers. Mothers destroy sons. His mother can speak to him in certain ways that destroy him in ways that can never be repaired. All right, so that's the actual clip, man, and I thought it was perfectly said 
that a lot of these young men that's in the streets acting like this is raised by women and they're not taught how to be men. Mm -hmm. Jojo, it's only right you're the female on the panel. I think you should start. What's your opinion on what Dr. Ayana was saying? Because in my opinion, I agree with her. I, I do. I think even if men like boys start off wanting, wanting to be men, if their mothers or women around them may be bitter or they don't have a good perspective on men, it's not going to make that little boy want to be a man. If they're saying, oh, men are bad or uh, this mm -hmm. this happens, men are trash, all these things that they say, uh, it doesn't like feed the them. positive yeah, the positive that they want to do. Like, oh, well, I want to be a better man. These women are so bitter that I feel like sometimes it really does affect what they want to like feed into their child or like give into them. They're not giving. They're taking away before they can even like build on what they already want to do. Like, that's what I think. All right, well, I, I can say that um, that is very true and I recently just mm -hmm. um, phoned my kid's mom today mm -hmm. and I was telling her like we can't have negative energy because yeah. it's trickling down to our children now and I said my son has never like cussed at me and right. we may have gotten an argument and he cussed mm -hmm. and I was like but he's also watching his mom like be mean to me right. and I'm like we gotta teach our kids I said I don't let my kids disrespect you I, if, if my if I, if my daughter ever said my mom is a terrible mom the first thing that's gonna come out of my mouth is no she's an amazing mom mm -hmm. and don't disrespect your mom right. I don't give a fuck what me and your mama going through you do right by her cause she do right by you and I told mm -hmm. my daughter she's an amazing mother she's I don't have to worry about my kids. I haven't had every house I've ever lived in or moved out of and got kicked out of, my kids were taken care of. So I keep that energy with their mother. I don't want them to feel like they have a bad mom. So even though me and you are not talking or on good terms, please don't let that trickle down to my children. Right. Because it does. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I mean, I agree with Jojo. You was about to say something, LB? Um, well, I don't know. Nah, I, just, I just hate that. I, I boycotted every young boy myself, man. I never listened to that dude. He is talented, though. You know, mm -hmm. he got some great songs. But that's another thing, too. I think this music, man, is getting in these boys' heads ever since they were little kids. Look at Rob Wade. steadily. Yeah. Like, now everybody's depressed. But he started that, that song. Rob Wade like started that way, though. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. He should have been but depressed. No, that's just, that's just how it's going to be anyway. These young dudes are coming up depressed. They ain't. But see, why is that depressed, though? Why is that? Okay, there has to be an in between. He's just like speaking his emotion. Like, men can be emotional and put their, you know, as feelings into a song as opposed to just saying, like, the anger side. He's just saying, these are the things that hurt me. I'm going to put it in music. I like Rob. But he's still capitalizing off of, uh, like, sadness. just sadness. But, and, that's, and, yeah, but that's listen true. to the music. All right, we don't fuck up the night. <laughs> Shit like that. It makes Ooh. you feel good and you want to fuck up the night. <laughs> it's no different than somebody. That got twelve songs saying how fucking angry they Absolutely. are in life. Absolutely. But look at young boy. That's what John pulled out the blicker because young right. boy is talking about he probably mad at some nigga. I'm a ride on some nigga. Yeah, that's true. You have an option. La, la, la. When you're feeling the way you pick the so, music. So as music. as a black community and as a community yeah. a whole, I'm talking about the whole world. Yeah. We gotta start saying what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, he, he should he should lose know. followers. He should lose like I, my son follow you. Mm -hmm. I, I, no, don't follow him. I thought it was going to change with George Floyd about how these rappers uh, promote killing and stuff and, and love talking about how nasty they're going to do your family and all yeah, that. Yeah. Like, that stuff is, I always felt, if you got a good uh, old lady in a wheelchair can hide in the bushes and kill somebody, what's tough about that? Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, why do we yeah. say that's so tough? All the shooters, people respect the shooters and watch out for the shooters. They the biggest peas around. You but know, that's why Charleston around. White is so dope. So I was telling Travis, he is, like and Travis that. had an hour conversation. I was just like, he said he didn't know who Tra Charleston White was. I was like, that's impossible. Yeah. I said, he's basically the troll in the hood. Why are you calling he, trolling? All right, I'm going to tell he you trolling. what. He's trolling? He's real, though. No, no. I, when I say trolling, trolling is another def another way of like antagonizing. There you right. go. Okay, so he's a t I said he's polar opposite of what gang members are doing. He's antagonizing them, saying, "You put your hands on me, I'm snitching. Yeah. You good? And, and you and we need. But we know that's not true because we know that gang members snitch. Oh yeah. All, well, to, I think he take Takashi's book. If y'all, I always like Takashi. If y'all <laughs> watch them, he said, "Look, all these rappers y'all listening to and riding for, and you going out shooting because you get pumped up off young boy. They all punks. That's why Takashi came out. Look, I'm gonna take his baby mama shopping. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me." And I think Charles that's, and White, said the same no, thing. That's the same like, these niggas is punks, man. They are right, my fault. No, you good. Uh, <laughs> they, but I hate that stuff, though, man. I hate them boys promoting violence like that. So, mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I agree, you know what I'm saying, up until a point. You know what I'm saying? Because then it becomes a point to where 
Where do the lines of entertainment blur? Why do other people get graphs of entertainment? I know where you're going. We have, I know where you're going. I hope you do. We'll sit I know back. Where you're going. Sit back because I'm sitting up watching I'm mass sure. shooting after mass shooting after mass shooting after mass shooting after mass shooting, after mass shooting, after mass shooting, after mass shooting, after mass shooting people running up in schools, people running up, people with all types of no, devices. No. We've had those conversations on this show. Yes, sir. Introducing devices. That's just like the device that the individual used in Las Vegas when he had that pump thing. That wasn't known to the public. You know what I'm saying? So now that device, what device is on the street. It was like it could take a semi-automatic gun and then jam it to your shoulder and jam it to the thing and the compression will automatically turn it turn it into an automatic. Right. And so he legally buying these devices, these guns. And so that can I be incident? I don't give a fuck about a mass shooter. Why? But don't talk about don't talk about John Moran. Don't talk about I'm black saying, media, we're, we're black entertainment, about, we black to. toxicity. We when we're watching the core of it, and we're watching these core individuals that spread it, that manipulate it, okay, that right. put so it in the environment. So I get, so I get your angle. So, right, so, so I get your angle of, of, when, of, when, of a white, when a white person... One white person Dead killing uh, one white person killing four people in a mall is Are nothing like is nothing like Please? a whole gang, multiple gangs killing five or six people in a day. It's, it's Are the you same. Damn crazy though. They just had thirteen yeah, people. It's not the same, bro. What so are you think it was worse? Or you're saying it's not the same. I'm, I'm people saying that, I'm saying that they're theaters. not promoting mass shooters. They're not promoting mass they shooters. Well, do. they do. You, you they know about do. that. They that have right. As soon as they hear about a mass shooter, what is the first thing they do? So, what is their mental background? So, is, it, uh, is John Moran like, I want to go shoot multiple We don't listen to the music, too, though. Like, you're on the Mason type of stuff. I don't know who the new Mason is, but they do. Got yeah, crazy but I can't believe music we're, music. I'm trying to fix fuck that. Man, you can't I'm fix trying it. to fix our culture. culture. Right. right. I don't give a fuck. Was broken though. All right. So so uh, who was it that said to me? My sister uh, at the hospital. I said mm -hmm. my brother was late, and she said he on CP time. I said stop. There's not CP time. Get rid of that shit. Wow. Color people time. Because it don't need to be a thing. Bring your ass to work on Listen. time. Bring your ass to work. If you say you're going to do something, like like I said. Stop Jermaine, that. Like I said, Jermaine, Stop like, that. Like, not to call nobody out. There's supposed to be another dude on this panel. Everybody knew. Did he show up? And did I go out my way to message him or call right, him? Right, right. Because I know how we work. And I'm telling you, it starts with me. And it starts with me. I could call him out, mm -hmm. I, which I probably did on the show. But I'm saying, like, I'm not going out my way when I expect you not to show up. I'm not. I'm, we got to get in a space to where we not on color people talk. We got to get to a space where Tell we don't want to listen to violence and murder and music and Tell then portray because we got stars like LeBron. So now oh. everybody, time out. You everybody's talking movies. about LeBron. Everybody's talking about I said, horror I LeBron. movies. All right, so listen, and, and I don't want to go kill nobody. All right, so me neither. But we were talking about the music. I think the music. It gets into you deeper because you're just steadily over and over. Man, and over it, does. it does. How can you, but you and watch you're horror, horror movies? Your, your horror movie, the horror movie is playing a story out on the screen. Okay, I hear it, I see it. That's the story. This music is right. your story's building. And it becomes part of you. That's what I'm saying. I get your about point, but you're right. We stuff. do need to change it. But we need to change We're it for black people. Need to change it for black people. For us, because we want to fit into what other people want us to. I get so we all know that. All right. So as you speak on I scary movies, like my girl, okay. me and my girlfriend went to go see oh, Evil Dead. Okay. Me and my girlfriend went to go see Evil Dead. She's never crazy. watched scary movies before she met. But she is like, babe, the scare, the movies ain't as scary as I thought they were. Mm -hmm. I just was yeah. scared to. I, I was. She said, but she said I was just mentally scared to watch them because they were considered scary movies. But once I actually watched it, I realized it's not as scary as it seems. That scene. music is vibrations, man. You can play music for it. Look, you can play a horror movie for a baby, mm -hmm. and he ain't gonna do nothing, right? Just sit there, mighty stare, get stuck in the TV, yeah, just right. But you play some music for a baby, what they gonna do? That's they gonna start rocking. It just point. goes through that's your whole true. body. Some music, that's I think, enters you in a whole different kind of way. No, that's different. That's all I'm saying. You playing that, 
You play with uh, us. Uh, uh, remember, being, uh, shout out to Dooley, he said it's a mass shooting every day. And it's also yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. also 160 yeah, black yeah, people yeah, that yeah. die every day to gang yeah, yeah, violence yeah, yeah. from Stop listening that. to Lil Wayne, from Indian listening to NBA Young Boy. You got that. Y'all keep you guys in the comments, man. I've never seen this. I've never seen this. I ain't never seen no. Hold on, time out, Hold on, time out. Because it's only the attack. Of one way, it's and not, I don't think that it's not black and white. white. I care about my people. He just said, he 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 said, Go ahead. People die Go today ahead. alone from gang violence. Like, yes, I mean, it's not a mass shooting every. And if it is a it mass is. shooting, that's not the only. I get what you're saying about that, but it's not only mass shootings. There's things that other cultures and other races do that we don't. Do. I don't even care how many, about how many. How many black people do you? You know, I it's just, that, I mean, I'm, it's in general about killings in general, like killing see, your parents, killing anything. It's not just mass shootings. I, I watch crime interrogation. There's a lot I'm, of I'm tired, Leela. You always take the race route, and I'm trying to explain to you. I don't give a fuck about another race. We're talking about people, toxic. That I'm racist, sick. I'm sick. Watch it. Hey, let's watch another clip. Because I know let's watch another clip. I had nothing. That's all I'm saying. I had nothing. That's all I'm saying. I had nothing but focus on home. Then it ain't about black people. It's about us. Wanting to care for our people, and I'm not I making it. Many, I don't I don't many, but so he's saying he wants to take care of home, but you're saying, take care of home. but you're saying it's bigger than home. It's man. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, I am I, am yeah, I wrong? Yeah, 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 well, you're saying it's not just you're saying you're saying he's singling out black people, but right. look, I'm, white people have problems, Chinese have problems, African, whoever. He's emphasizing on our people, but they're not feeding right. to right. Chinese culture. This is a fact. We don't they're know not what feeding. They're, they're not feeding to no. They're feeding Chinese culture, love and peace. I've seen videos. Who they? Like, I have seen videos. They don't care about their people. 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 They don't now this is what I disagree with. So let me so let me explain. There you go. Now this is what I disagree with. This is what I disagree with. When you say it, that example, right? Like they're not feeding Chinese people that. But the most popular show where people was getting gunned down if they moved. That's that. Kind that's of a movie though. I'm talking about real Hold life. On. That's but a movie. everything is entertainment. No, but I'm trying to explain. I'm trying to explain. Why are we the only the one that's watching our millionaires? Music. Time out. Can I break it down to your language terms? Because I, I think you get lost in the sauce no, because go you ahead. take these angles all the time. Go ahead. I'm getting tired of seeing our millionaires. What me? You only want lost in money because you no. don't have it. No, you can't talk no, to but, a millionaire but, that say I don't. But those are that money. Those are. This is who I am. But. It's and called idol money, man. You can't so, so talk to a millionaire. millionaire. No, you can't. You don't know for me. Go ahead. Okay. But you can't talk it's to a millionaire. It's called idol worship, right? And I'm trying to understand why not, why our millionaires. Why that you you can't talk, talk about. Let me talk, please. Why our millionaires can't save us and help people get out of the community instead of bringing back violence to the community. Allah, uh, uh, Allah, what's the motherfucking name that YSL? Uh, young Thug. Young Thug. He had millions of dollars, and instead of taking families out of the hood, which he probably did, not. but but that's fine. But uh, I, but once you get the money, it's not about being toxic ever again. Our culture feeds it to us so much. We got millionaires trying to prove they steal street and kill people. And that's the problem. I'm not having a problem with no other race. Right. I'm having a problem with, because I guarantee you, Brad Pitt is not like, I want to send a hit out. Uh, uh, I had a whole island with Epstein, with the most so evil I, I people of the world. Torturing, murdering, that's the raping, government. That's killing. the government. What you mean? But I right, so I told him, like I told the Cowboys. We didn't have nothing now, to do like with I told that. You, on a smaller scale, what we're doing on this panel right here, yeah. I said, do you understand that I can I can get killed by just a gang member and nobody would give a fuck about what I'm doing on a smaller scale. Just like with Snowfall, with, with the white man Teddy that had basically created a whole organization all ran through black people. We got to start being smart ourselves and realizing the agenda. I'm telling you, I'm starting to see the agenda. A la this. I, this is about to get really weird. So Travis was talking. I said, Travis, now, why is it LeBron is so clean cut? He said, man, I said, he's Hollywood. He, he is part of the elite. And I said, to be honest with you, I don't want to be weird, but it might have some tailor to why Kobe Brown. 
please don't come for me, CIA. I'm just a small man. <laughs> but I was like, it might have something to do with Kobe Bryant being uh, killed on that helicopter because he was not with the agenda of this pussy footing around that they're giving us. They are literally y'all crazy. Think if, if, if we're, right, we're, we're doing a show, if if Denver Nuggets is not up by thirty right now. The NBA is rich. So they yeah. killed Kobe Bryant. Because Kobe was a real one. Put and put in this Hollywood. Yes. 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 Yuppies Just Gordon. like y'all don't think Gucci. Yuppies y'all don't think Gucci. Because, hey, it is because it influences the most no, low vibrating. No. Hold on. Leave Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not disagreeing. Influence is important. You know what influence is? Mm-hmm. It's power. Mm-hmm. Why are they talking here no more? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Influence is power. So. Right. He's, he, he's not that far off. Kobe was real. He didn't, he didn't answer. Kobe was about saying, we're not scripting the NBA and the Lakers. Now, LeBron does, too. LeBron does, too, but he's much more pleasant. Right, he was making and much, demonic books. And, and much more uh, available. Kobe food. Bryant made a demonic book, or Kobe Bryant taught you how to be a man. Or he was making demonic books, children books. Demonic? You might want to look it up. Let's Google that. I got to listen to LeBron. Let's Google I Kobe Bryant demonic Children's book. You bring it to our next episode. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, pretty pretty that's fair. It's on Google. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> right, so, so, and the, 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 so, so, in the scheme of things, I just want to say it like this. And I don't know if it's time to wrap it up. No, no, no. I'm just coming to All right. So, in the scheme of things, I'm just trying to explain this to y'all. It starts with you, right? And we have to start being, if I got to pull aside on the side of the street and I see some kids out there looking like they being gang members or they doing, it starts with me, man, like, why y'all out here, man? There's, you know, there's a, like I said, motherfuckers don't even know there's something past 72nd and names. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like motherfuckers complaining about potholes. I ain't complaining about potholes in Ralston or wherever I'm at. Right. I, I'm like, there's a different life. If you really take it in, like I said, I'm sitting behind a glass and I'm watching my friend facing murder, right? right? right. But I also know who he is as a person, like he had choices he had to make in life. Mm-hmm. Now, if you get out of that environment, things will change. Now, you can't take the street out of everybody. That's why my man is who he is. But I'm telling you that there's a different life than I don't care to ever sell. A motherfucker called me right now and said they got 80 keys for me. I'm not selling drugs because I made it out of there with my, my life, right. with no jail time, mm-hmm. not a felon. But at one point in time, somebody called me and said they had 80 keys for me. I'm on my way. Hey, I got keys for sale. Yeah. Bet. Yeah. It's mentality. So how does the change get made? I'm poor. I'm poor. And if somebody called me right now for 80 keys, I would say no. I got, I, got, wow. I, got, I got 75 cents in my wallet. So what wow. do you think can make the change then? Like, as far as like day-to-day, what do you feel like you when can I, do When I like realize that, 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 that gangs, drugs, mm-hmm. is uh, death. Right. Or jail. Mm-hmm. That, like the saying, you either wind up dead or in jail. What's it's the true. Alternative? The alternative take your ass to work so and, and, and be a regular civilian. Right. So who's helping them do that then? Like, because I believe that it's in your heart to do it. But like every day, do you rally up like maybe ten men and say, "Let's go help the youth"? Or because no, it's hard. You, know you, you know what I mean? Like, are you saying like, "Okay, you know hey what, guys"? But we did. The, we did. The, but I want to say this. I, because, I want to speak on JoJo too. I want to say this because it starts with change. I started, we did two backpack drives. Okay, we did a Christmas exactly. giveaway. Absolutely. We tried with the little budget we have here. Exactly. Now, right. with, with, like I, was, I, I said it and I seen it in your, in your posts. You used to make a lot of toxic ass posts. <laughs> Funny, but yeah. toxic. Okay. And now you're like, your vibration is like love. Mm-hmm. And, and like, I'm not saying you can't make toxic posts and I would feel right. somewhere anybody would, but I noticed like you're shifting. But it's also you're shifting because you're in a different space in life, I'm and, you're, and you and you and that's where I'm at. I'm shifting and we're like, oh shit, like oh shit. NBA young boy is telling my son to go kill somebody. Right. Oh shit, Lil Wayne. Why are you wearing yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, I don't feel like the posts were toxic. I feel like they were, they were the funny, truth, but funny. they were just not sugar coated. I'm not one for saying how to tell the truth. I might make it funny. Yeah, I make it funny because that is my sugar coating. You know what I mean? But yeah. it's still, a I, I lot don't of it is toxic. toxic. I, I mean, know what you mean. You, you like it's just, it's social just media. Put on the next. Yeah, like exactly. even me now. Even Absolutely. me. It takes everything in me not to go on there and be like, y'all bitches need to. Right. You made like, a comment like, yeah. on there. You're like, oh, where'd this come from? Like, yeah. Like, yeah but I'm right. saying, like, right. I used to, I, I used to be that too. Right. Yeah. But but and then like I feel like people say, oh, he had a relationship. Y'all gotta understand. This is always me. I just had a different mate. And now, like I said, I told I told uh, uh, Travis, I was like, man, do you understand that as as a young dude, I used to try to look for women to fuck. You know what I'm saying? And now it's now I'm in a space to where like I I want to do right. I want you to be faithful. Right? 
Let's have the conversation. You just say, you just say, let, all right, let's, 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 we got one more clip, and then we can, okay. we got about 10 more minutes. But let's watch this clip, and I'm, this is about, like, at what point in time did you stop chasing pussy? Right? Oh, yeah, let's watch yeah, this clip. Yeah. Why are you chasing women? Why are you chasing sex? We didn't have sex all our lives. We've been, we've been fucking for it our whole life, basically, since we was teenagers. And pussy still excites you. You know what excites me? Money. Living. Doing what I want to do when I wake up. Not having to clock in. That's what excites me. It's not more money, more problems. It's more women, more problems. Why are you chasing women? Why are you chasing sex? We didn't have sex. Why are you chasing women? Why are you chasing sex? We didn't have sex all our lives. We've been we've been fucking for it our whole life, basically, since we was teenagers. And pussy still excites you. You know what excites me? Money. Living. Doing what I want to do when I wake up. Not having to clock in. That's what excites me. It's not more money, more problems. It's more women, more problems. Why are you chasing women? All right, so that's the actual clip. And I want to be the first to say that, like I said, I was a, I got a lot of friends and a lot of homegirls that's hurting from from the culture we're feeding our people, like being promiscuous. And, money, and sex, and drugs. Money, sex, yeah. and drugs. Right. And, and this all correlates to what our culture is feeding us. Because even like I said with the Puff Daddy situation, I think our last show, how how she said like, um, are y'all together? And he's like, uh, I mean, no, we're not together. Right. Right. So so they're not feeding us like you want to hold this woman's hand, you want to treat her like she's beautiful, you want to love on her. And I realized that that shit broke me for fucking thirty some years of my life. And I'm like, now I want to I want to be like I'm not gonna be perfect. Like I said, me and my girlfriend argue like a shit of rock and goddamn blue face. Damn, but what I, I, I like to make, I like to make that joke. I like to make that joke. But but at the same time, at the same time, I have to I have to hone in my uh, toxic masculinity and realize that it's 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 I can hurt her. So even like me and her got in an argument recently, and then Leland was like, "You owe her an apology." And I told him like I need people like him around because as yeah, as much as yeah, he give me right. as much as Leland get on this panel and be an asshole and say crazy shit and that's he good. also yeah, has some yeah, chips in it yeah, yeah. because yeah. he's the one that told me I need to apologize to my woman and I did and her whole ch she trust me dog I thought I thought it was like we about to because I but you know what about that man uh, is it that we're older than we're able to recognize no. it because I've I've been realizing that lately too you know I've been uh, realizing when I'm sad or. Or when I'm feeling some different type of way. And sometimes it shocks me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, what is this? What am I feeling? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. When we was young, I think I didn't even have time to pay attention to that. Doing whatever, even if I was doing nothing. You know, so I think as we get older, we slow down, we lose a little bit of testosterone or whatever, and now we start recognizing our feelings because we're older now. Twenty years ago, oh, you didn't emotional. give a sh yeah, but 20 years ago, you would have been, the old book bags would have been saying, shut the hell up. I ain't trying to hear that shit. I'm out of here. No, I think that's you, though. Know, you know, were saying. very nonchalant. Well, like, even, all right, so even, not, I'm not bringing this up, but I have to bring it up because how you handled it, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, um, when you split with your last relationship, I was like, you handling it so well. Like I I I don't handle breakup well. Like I'm a I what I did was I emotionally fucked on people. To be honest with you, like no, I tried, no, to, no, I tried, no, I tried. No, I tried women, yeah, women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But even when that happened, I wasn't in touch. Like I mean, it sort of feels even weird to say, but I wasn't in touch uh, with my feelings when that happened. So I didn't really, yeah. might not even necessarily know. Because like to me, you know? to me. With seeing you with Charlie and, and like like your living room being this play set and right. all of these things when 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 you moved and on to better things, I didn't understand how you were so nonchalant about it. I personally was very I'm still kind, I'm not still. I just always will be emotional over the fact that I it didn't work out with my kids' mom because I always wanted to have just one woman with these two kids. And it's a very hard pill to swallow. And I, but I've always been a two of my feelings, though, man. Oh yeah, no, I know. Yeah. It, it, it affects me yeah. to this day. Yeah. Uh, so it, you yeah. might not have seen it, but no, it affects me. Yeah. It affects me. And, uh, and, but, but like I said, I might not have known what to recognize. We got to teach black men to to 
hey, it's okay to be faithful. Out. It's okay to be faithful. But I it's think the teaching man. comes in the showing, just living in the way that you want them to present. When they see older men do that, I think naturally. Not just say, hey, do this, but I'm doing that. Just do it. That's what I think. Now, I really know. Uh, what I advise uh, my boss up here. <laughs> is that no but seriously though you know what I'm saying I've been in a 30 year relationship you know what I'm saying and so no matter how y'all may perceive me or how I may behave so I mean, I, this is me you know what I'm saying but what I gave me was real you know what I'm saying like I told him if you took her there it's your job to bring her back Yeah. and so mm-hmm. when, I so, take, uh, when I take people there that's true. I know it's my job to bring them back. <laughs> but I let them know <laughs> I can get them back <laughs> there. You know what I'm saying? So, Keep playing on. So that is so I gave him the game that was given and to me. Trust me, because me and my girl, I'm telling you, in, in, in the two years, me and my girl ain't like, never had such a, like, well, like we were not talking. Mm-hmm. And shout out to my baby. We got uh, unapologetically, pandemically, us yep. dropping tomorrow. I've been um, tapping. I've been tapping. I like it. Like it. The show drop it. We just cutting out everything. I like it. I like it. I'll be tuned in. I like it. No, I like it. Make no, sure y'all like it. Make sure y'all tune in. Uh, y'all want it? What time is it? You going? We only did thirty minutes. Nine o two. Do we got some time? Now it's time to say goodbye to all my nigga friends. I'm on my way home. Look, I'm on my way home. Y'all, y'all. Hey, so so she was asking earlier, you know, real quick before we go, I'm going to try to extend the show just a little bit. What are you, uh, well, I want to mention what I do. So when I when I come across young black men especially, um, I mention what I did, what I'm doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is what I did, and I think you should look into this. You know, uh, I think this, which is get a CDL. You know, a lot of these boys, I told your moms that have sons that you know they ain't going to school for college. They might be lost. They might be sitting on their ass right now in your house. Get them boys, tell them to get a CDL and take care of themselves. So I, everybody I meet that I see working, I tell them, hey, this is what I did. You should check it out. You know, whether they do or not, that's what I'm in. But also, right. and real quick, in the stores or anywhere, if I see a little white kid, a little black kid, but especially white kids or any other race, when they're in line, and I'm standing in line at the grocery store at Walmart, I wave to them. I smile to them. Mm-hmm. I play peekaboo with them. Their parents ain't even seen me. But mm-hmm. I, I've always thought in my head, that little boy's going to know no matter what's happening at home. He's, he's going to, when mommy and daddy might be saying something different, right. he's going to be like, I don't know, because this guy at the yeah. Walmart was way waving at me, smiling that way. way. And he, you know, I felt good. He was playing with me, you know, so right. that's my little part. You know, yeah. that I do. And I that's coach, nice. and so... We gotta take it upon ourselves, you know. We can that's say the millionaire. Well, first of all, I never say what any other man should do. Yeah. You know, that's their life. It would be nice if maybe these millionaires helped out a little bit more. But what do you do? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot. Wait, well, absolutely. I want to. I just want to piggyback on what he said, though. But also, did y'all really just turn my closet into a whole other fucking topic? No, just come with me. Because I was asking about the culture. Yeah, because you were saying you don't let them in. You just think they say he don't do nothing. This way, tell what you do in front of the community. He about to just come on. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. Tell him what you say. Tell him what you say. I'm gonna tell you. I don't do nothing for the community. Yeah, because. When you say community, then you throwing all the apples in with the apples. And so, there's the apples and oranges. I believe you that the sweet speak will, the just like this table, they know you need a new one. You know what I'm saying? The agenda of trying to placate to these people, not these people or individuals that are steadily showing that they need something why the individuals only need an extra poof, don't even get their attention. I just like, I got a homeboy on here who worked in a high school, and like he said, they don't even know the good kids' name. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. And all yeah. they do, yeah. and yeah. so, yeah. all they do, and so, but that, but like he said, it's that attention that's yeah. all the students is looking for. That's yeah. the for truth. someone to know who they is. Right. That's true. And That's true. they don't even know who the good student is. 
But the bad students that run around, that skip classes, no, everybody know who they is. The, 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 you know, the, the, you know the time people told right. us to be toxic on here? Like, that's not the agenda. Uh-huh. Like, you know how many times people say, you're a leader should fake a fight on the show? <laughs> I don't know. No, well, that's what the media is. But I'm saying, like, but if we're going to do something authentic, yeah, if I'm go genuine. against them, I genuinely go against it. If, I, right. if I'm with it, I'm, if I agree, I no, agree. No, Cal, uh, I plan on eventually uh, feeding the homeless. I plan on eventually, but you got to also understand, it comes with so much more than just what do you do. What I do is give them a platform. Come on, anybody's welcome on my show. And don't, yeah, big or small. What yeah, yeah, big or small. But but when it comes to the agenda of what I plan on doing, like when 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 the grants and all of the things that I work for, mm-hmm. I will be feeding the homeless. I will be every backpack drive. Every right. every we have an annual backpack drive. The smartest dog people. We gave out 35, 40 backpack fully loaded backpacks. Uh, two years in a row. Yeah, we plan on yeah, doing a hundred yeah, this year. Yeah. Uh, but I, all I could do is show the community that I care enough about them to where if I did get the right amount of money, that we wouldn't struggle in these areas. Okay, we have resources. We that's what this platform is for. We might bring a kid on here like that. When I went to go speak with kids, they was all like angry and, and they was talking about how they don't have a job and they need. I have the resources to get you a job. Right. You know. So mm-hmm. I help. I don't. Everything is not. For, but don't discount exactly, though. Not don't discount though that little wave at Walmart though, because you never no, know like what that. it takes to spark somebody. Like you know, it can be some you. little or big, like a book that drive, or it can be even saying hi to somebody that nobody said hi to him in a month. You know what I'm saying? You might wave at somebody, ain't nobody waved to him in a year. You know what I'm saying? So you never know what it. Right, little, just positive energy, act. just in general, yeah. Just put that way. Can I touch on what you said? But you also should you also should let them know what I told you that you were going to run into in grace. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, so in grace. In grace. Not grateful? What does that mean? In people that wasn't gracious. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And so I told you to experience that. And you know what I'm saying? And so I gave hundreds of dollars. For, I gave five hundred dollars out, hundred dollars to uh, five different families, and all they did was pick up the car and keep it moving. No, no, no shout outs to the. Well, song you just said. You just said. Uh, this is my little thing. <laughs> if it's a gift, you did you pay him? If you paid him, you should expect something back. But if you give, you gave and, and let it be. Which is me, great. I said on the show, I gave out five hundred dollars, a hundred dollars to each family for Thanksgiving. But you said but not one family. Enough. Let's be honest. Not one family. Talked about it or said thank so you. you that, so yeah. did you pay him or did you give it to him? So okay. you was paying him. You was like, hey, I'm gonna give you this hundred dollars. No, 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 Yo, yo, what's up? At the hottest podcast in the city, the smartest dumb people. I'm here with my nigga, that dude Johnson. You know what I'm saying? We go way back like folks.